Well, hello and welcome to Wooden Watch You Don't Need, and today I want to show you these watches in the grey box. Grey to signify steel or, or metal, anyway. Wait, wasn't this supposed to be a video about the B640? This is the box in which I keep, of course, Casios and non Casios. You are the odd one out, be aware of it. Casios and non Casios, which are in a way made of steel, wholly or partially. Yeah, okay, but when are you going to talk about the B640? But I'm not just showing off my Casios like my late 1970s Casio computer watch. This one, no, I'm not showing it off. Or my 1985 wonderful timer watch with beautiful timer and marvelous chime watch. No, I'm not showing off my beautiful Japanese A159. This one is the newest in the collection and it will probably be one of the last digital watches that I buy. One of the, I said one of the, not the last, one of the last. And I'm not showing off my 11 and a half year old A168, but I will talk about this one. This, the beautiful B640. Oh, and by the way, I made reviews of all these watches here, so go and check them out in the dedicated playlist. I made a review of this one. Actually, I made three reviews or maybe an unboxing and three reviews because to me, this watch is marvelous. It has the same functions as the mythical DW290 while being more sleek and elegant. It has less water resistance, of course, but I think that's all that is lacking. I like the beautiful, smarter, more elegant look of this one. And I also liked the matte finish on the resin case. This is a resin case which has been painted with some metal looking varnish of some kind, as is the case for the A168 and for the A169. You can see that these have polished chrome varnish or paint of some kind, whereas the B640 has a matte or dull metal paint. This is stainless steel. This is stainless steel as well with a brushed finish. Check out the review of the Armatron Rubik on my channel. And this is base metal, the catalog said, which has been chromed. So under this chrome plating there is some kind of metal, I don't know if brass or some other cheaper metal than stainless steel. But I purposely digress in order to keep you waiting for what I was going to say about this because it all goes back to last Sunday when I played at a concert. Some of you might know that I'm a musician and the person who was hiring me was wearing this same watch. He is a cook. He picks up his own vegetables in his own vegetable garden and fruit. He's got a fruit orchard. So he cooks, he works in the open and I noticed that he was wearing this watch and fate had it that I was wearing this watch too and I told him what a beautiful watch we have the same watch and he showed it to me and he told me I just changed the battery last week after a few years of wearing it he didn't know of course he was not a watch ill person as I am or as I suppose most of you watching this video are so he didn't know exactly how long he had had this watch for but he told me after several years he changed the battery but why am i telling you this because his watch this very same exact model was all white except from some specks near the buttons where there was still some metal paint remaining and i thought to myself here is a minus of this watch and when i came home I had a closer look at the watch and I noticed, oh, bear in mind that I have only worn this watch for, I don't know, maybe a total of 20 days. And when I say I, I mean my wife, because as soon as my wife saw this watch on my wrist, she told me, I want to have it, so I gave it to her immediately. But then I wanted to play with some more elegant watch at that concert, so I asked her permission to have it back just for that day. And when I came home, I had a closer look at the watch, and can you see that there are some very tiny spots here on the corner, and the varnish is kind of fading. Uh, not on the upper ones, as far as I can notice, but here, here. If you have a closer look, there's a tiny speck here and a tiny speck of, well, not metal varnish here. This might mean that Casio, our dear beloved Casio, 
has actually made a valuation mistake when painting these with the metal varnish because it's not as good as, as the chrome plating on the A168 which is almost 12 years old, 11 and a half years old, it has some scratches here on the case but it does not show any white resin underneath. This has been worn a lot, first by my wife then by me and it's not showing the resin that is underneath the paint whereas this one which has been worn only for I don't know 15 or 20 days total is already showing some signs of wear. This said my love for this watch is slightly diminishing but in case all the varnish begins to fade I think I will take the module off and just work on the case and maybe I don't know put some heavier duty paint on it or I don't know do something strange suggestions are welcome in the comments so this was to show you my beautiful steel Casios and non Casios case beautiful I don't know my nice case and to talk about the varnish or the paint issue on this particular model which otherwise I really love this has been wooden what you don't need and I'll see you on the next Ciao!